Welcome back, students. So we're going to put together the last two lessons, how to graph uh, ordered pairs and how to create a table of ordered pairs using a function rule. And we're going to put the two together and we're going to see what these function rules produce. And visually, it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, some of you may know already what they'll produce, but for some of you, it will be a surprise. So the basic process that we're going to be using, we'll start you off for the first couple graphs by giving you actual input numbers to use for your x values, your x coordinate, but eventually you're going to have to choose your own x values to be putting into the function rule. And how do you do that? Well, please just make sure that they actually fit on the graph. All right, we say fit in the graphing window. We mean take a look at the number line that you've been given and don't choose numbers that won't be on it. You have to understand that this is 0, 0, right? This is our origin, 0 on the x axis, 0 on the y axis. And if you count out the lines, you'll see this last line here is positive 8, and this last line here is negative 8. So don't choose numbers that are larger then positive 8 because you won't be able to graph the point. Don't choose numbers that are smaller than negative 8. You won't have anywhere to graph your point. Uh, please just trust that in the cases, let me just double check here on your homework, that at least for the times when we've picked your input numbers, your x values for you, that they will always generate output values, your y coordinate, that will fit on the number line, okay? Um, when you're choosing your input, all bets are off, but they'll most likely stay in the graphing space. So make sure that uh, if it is your job to choose inputs that they're at least with on, within the x-axis number line that you've been given. Uh, you're going to do what you did yesterday, and you're going to evaluate those x values in your function rule and get y values out. You're going to get outputs. Uh, and then you're going to take and you're going to graph those ordered pairs onto your graph. And then we're going to connect them together with a continuous line. Um, that we're going to put little arrow points on to have them stretch out to infinity. Uh, and then you will have graphed your, your first function, and it will be very exciting for you.